Hi, a warm good afternoon. My name is Krishnan Ramamurthy and I'm a director at Science International, Simran Bahad, Malaysia. Let me give you a brief run through of our history. Our humble beginnings began some 24 years ago when we started as an oil and gas engineering company with operations in Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Dubai, and the UK. In that 24 years, we have served many leading oil and gas multinational corporations. However, about 10 years ago, our management decided to diversify and took a paradigm shift to venture into agrotech. Namely, in this agrotech initiative, we have started greenhouse organic farming, broiler poultry farming, aqua farming, insect farming in Malaysia and other Asia Pacific countries, particularly Indonesia. In 2020, we decided to embark on a cooperation with Uzbekistan. In this respect, we have conducted advanced discussions with Kashkadaria region of Uzbekistan for the purpose of establishing initiatives of insect farming black soldier fly as an alternative and self-sustainable animal feed production. This involves a circular economy concept of recycling quality food and farm waste that retrieves protein from such waste, thereby converting into production of high-quality animal feed that is suitable for poultry, livestock farming, and further may be developed into organic fertilizers. In doing so, we collaborate with leading European technology providers. The commercial and national benefits, both to SIMES and Uzbekistan, are many. Let me list down a few for your kind consideration. It reduces the cost of animal feed through this protein retrieval, thereby overall reducing the cost of farming. It reduces the dependency on imported animal feed components and that enhances food security. It reduces national inflation and maximizes foreign currency utilization, thereby a negative impact to uh, managing the negative impact of inflation. Further, it overcomes supply chain disruption and delays that causes increased costs because of COVID-19. So generally, it's a very beneficial uh, initiative, both for nation and for commercial aspects. Our second direction is innovative supply chain solutions. Now, leveraging on Industry 4.0, information technology, we collaborate with international partners to provide solutions on the following. Number one, we, we collaborate on online freight truck brokerage. Two, e-documentation paperless. Three, an electronic wallet that uses a payment gateway. Four, blockchain trade platforms. Five, to encourage commodity trade and supply chain financing. In this aspect, our cooperation with Uzbekistan, we are happy to, to inform that we are in advanced discussion of collaboration with the Ministry of Transportation for the establishment of the following. Number one, an electronic truck freight system intra-Uzbekistan, Europe, Middle East, Eurasia, and Economic Union, and China to align on a singular platform, secured digitalization of export and import related documentation. This reduces the overall process flow and delivery of documentation. To build into the platform an e-wallet for initially that serves to make payment for truck freight and subsequently receiving export proceeds, payments and effecting payments for imports of ancillary charges. Further, it can collaborate with established blockchain trade platforms to enhance Uzbek exports to new levels. In doing so, we plan to invite institutional and private equity funds to finance in foreign exchange for Uzbek imports and exports. The commercial and national benefits are many. Let me again list a few for them. Number one, the supply chain innovations enable trade and trade 
is the lifeline of the national economy. Two, it reduces cost of transportation by at least 20%, thereby enhancing competitiveness of exports and reduce cost of imports. And when these costs are lowered, it mitigates the negative inflation impacts, thereby optimization national usage of foreign exchange. And during COVID-19, with all these unprecedented supply chain disruptions, these technological advancements are enablers, supply chain enablers. Finally, not least, contact tracing of cargo movements through GPRS tracking mitigates the spread and risk of COVID-19. So as you can see, our initiatives underscore Uzbekistan's ability to perform under these challenging times and is a preferred venue as a foreign direct investment country. We thank you for your time to listen to our kind presentation.